Earth people up. How would you like to come along with us right now? space one and all I'm the spaceman and I've landed in your area once again and tonight I'm smoking a cigar so I'm gonna be doing a nice little uh, review on this cigar this cigar is a Gurkha evil look at the creepy little guy on that wrapper there I find him kind of peculiar and it's got this uh, kind of cracked uh, kind of texture, like it looks old, like kind of old time, like. And he's holding some kind of blade or something. Looks like he's getting ready to cut, maybe cut some tobacco or something. But anyway, this is a promising cigar from the notes I've read online. Now, this is made by the R. Hansotia and Company will be um, that be the tobacco company and I'm actually drinking a cup of coffee out of one of their cups so this is a uh, Gurkha cup R. Hansotia and Company family tobacco merchants And in the mug, I got some Maxwell House original roast, medium roast. So let me describe this cigar to you according to some notes from the website, the Gurkha website. This cigar is described as a rare and exclusive shade-grown Brazilian Matafina wrapper accompanied by a perfect Dominican binder and exquisite Nicaraguan filler makes this a spicy and full-bodied cigar. The strength is medium to full. All right. So, let's go ahead and get this baby open and get a whiff. Mmm. Um very uh, chocolatey and very reminiscent of um, actually maybe some hay in a barn um, a, little, a little bit of manure added in kind of has a little bit of that flavor uh, essence aroma to it hopefully not flavor but <laughs> We don't want to smoke manure now, do we? Okay, that's another video for another time. Let's smoke a cigar made out of manure, horse manure, right? Um, what's your choice, cow manure or horse manure cigars? Okay. Anyway, get you a better view of the wrapper after I take off the, the uh, I'll give you a better view of the band there after I take off the wrapper. And we're going to take our nice little cigar cutter here and we're going to make a nice little, punch a nice little hole right in the center. And let's fire this up and see just what we can get from it. It's a large cigar. I don't know the um, 
the band of width of it, the uh, ring size, whatever you want to call that. Looks like it's about a six inch cigar, maybe five inch, I don't know. Get a little bit of spiciness to this. Um, let's see. Maybe a little bit of coffee grounds, cocoa. Sweets cocoa flavor, maybe. Good cigar, by the way. I'm liking this. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Cocoa. Coffee grounds. A little bit on the woodsy side, maybe. A little earthy. Um, it's got some sweet notes to it. Yeah. She's singing to me a little here. I like it. Tobacco, good tobacco flavor. Um, decent cigar after a nice meal. Anyway, I'm going to smoke this down a little bit. And then we're going to uh, do a little bit of disappearing act here. And I'll be back in a few seconds to let you know how this has progressed. Be right back. I'm back. And I'm getting a little bit of a like chocolate cake kind of flavor. And still getting some coffee in here. Smoky, creamy, soft, sweet. Nice, nice cigar. And noticed how this is burning nicely, not completely evenly, but still burning nicely. And I noticed how it just really smokes a lot, whether I'm drawing on it or not. And it has a wonderful, smooth, and easy draw. It's great, great smoker. really wonderful intense aroma of tobacco and just uh, flourishing uh, tobacco flavor essence of the tobacco in this cigar so this is definitely going to be on my list as one of my favorites definitely a cigar to indulge in wow just awesome sweet a little bit of a tangy flavor in there too and and not too much of the woodsy kind of cedar thing going on, which I did, which I would, I don't prefer. Um, just more of a flavorful, uh, rich, uh, more on the aromatic side of things. And I'm really liking it, but it also, you know, it has that good, strong, medium to strong, full body, medium to full bodied flavor and essence.
that wonderful aroma that I'm getting, the, 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 the richness of the tobaccos uh, rolled up in this fabulous cigar um, is kind of like a toasted kind of like essence to it. Like maybe if there's a, such a thing as toasted tobacco, which there isn't, uh, maybe roasted coffee, that would be a better uh, explanation. Maybe like a, a, a roasted coffee kind of flavor. Um, let's see. And get like see if I can uh, get a little bit of a room note here. Wow, powerful. Hmm. That's powerful. Almost smells like the arts and crafts room I worked in when I worked on my railroad. Kind of like, I don't want to say chemically, but maybe the paint I used on my models, my buildings, maybe. And maybe with a little bit of a bakery smell mixed in, if you can imagine that. A little bit of a, maybe, um, enamel paint kind of smell. I don't know. I, I let's see. Hmm. You know what the coffee is more like? It's more like espresso right now. Like a nice cup of strong espresso. Wow, this thing is good and complex. Excuse me. I, I'm getting all kinds of stuff off of this one. This is awesome. So I'm going to shut you guys off for a few more seconds and I'll be right back and let you know how what else I'm getting, okay? I'm back again, and um, I was just looking at uh, my new uh, catalog from Pipes and Cigars here, and um, they have the Gurkha cigars in the catalog right here, and basically uh, what I noticed about this cigar is that it really comes close to as being as good as some pipe tobacco that I smoke. It really is good. It's delicious. I think I've hit on something here that's really, really going to be a favorite of mine. With the new uh, pipe and cigars, funny thing is, I get a catalog here, um, and also still get a catalog at the previous address I lived with my sister. And uh, that would be the, not the previous address, but the address before that. Still get a catalog there that she gives me. And what's weird is they're both the same month, but they both look different. They both have different covers on the front. So uh, explain that, if you will, right? Um, so what are we getting now with the cigar? It's just basically, it's very smooth and just smoking beautifully. And... Uh, Just wonderful so I'm gonna give it uh, if you want to go by a rating of five stars being my best rating yes I'm gonna give it five stars Gurkha evil great cigar and I believe this cigar was about six or seven maybe I'm gonna say seven something seven to eight dollars I don't know somewhere in the range of six to eight dollars so that's going to uh, be it for me and I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee and cigar and I shall catch you guys in the next video happy smoking <laughs>